Rick Kong and of Latino Review Media Online. And as my friends call me in Espanol, Rico, suave. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, Rico, ¿cómo estás? Suave. <laughs> so I just want to tell you felicidades because, you know, I love watching football when football season's on and it's depressing when it's not on during the season. So just to go from Sunday and then have to wait to another Sunday is like rough or actually from Monday to Sunday is rough. So it's nice to have that Thursday football right in there. So I have to ask you, like, how is your experience being on Prime Video doing it on Thursdays and, and in Espanol? It's, it's wonderful. I, I love football. I love almost uh, all sports. I'm a sports guy, but I love football. My my son plays uh, football. He's a quarterback. So for me, it's 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 double the, the, the emotion that I feel when I'm calling the game. Uh, he's a great, he's a huge football fan. Every time I call a game, he's in the phone. Good call, good route, good. So uh, for, for me, it, it's it's uh, double the excitement because... You know, I'm I'm doing what I love to do, and I have my son, you know, very active on on that matter. So it's 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 been great. Prime Video, it's been it's been a great way, you know, to not miss football uh, almost six days. It's been great, Rick. Uh, Third year uh, for us, Miguel, myself, uh, we're the broadcast partner partners on on, on TNF and Espanol. Um, it's 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 been an incredible ride. I think we have the commitment and. And the obligation to showcase TNF, Thursday Night Football, in our language, which which com- becomes um, which becomes uh, kind of a ritual for us in in regards to preparation to what we offer on the air because we prep like the English side, man. We prep like the general side. Uh, for me, as a former offensive lineman in the NFL, uh, I watch tape. I watch two games back. And uh, if we start week one, I watched last year's and I watch, you know, if there's a joint practice or whatever there is for me watching uh, the scouting report and, and the tape, it, it just gets me prepped up as, as the way I would do it if I was playing on, on, a, on a Sunday, you know, as a player. It is, it is a big challenge because you have a lot of information, a lot. You have a lot of, uh, you know, numbers that you have to study. Uh, you have, what I like to do is, let, let, let me let me uh, tell you a little bit of, of my prep. I read about 100 pages for every single game. I love to know about the player stories. Where do they come from? Uh, what school they went to? Their family? How did they grow up? I mean, that gives the audience a whole different perspective sometimes to understand what's happening, right? And... Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. I call two games every week. I do prime video games and Sunday night football. So it's a lot, man. But I, I really enjoy it because every single time that I read, I find I, I find something different about every single player. And you have this huge amount of stats. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's a lot of info. We don't have a spotter calling the game. We don't have a spotter. So um, you need to be like very light, very bright. That, you know, a uh, great catch from uh, C.D. Lamb. Okay, let me tell his story. So, yeah, it's it, it's awesome. I, I, I love to learn uh, every every single day about, about uh, football players or, you know, athletes. And Miguel has been a longtime journalist. Uh, his, his play-by-play skills are incredible. And for me to kind of complement that and come in with an analysis – has been something that that we enjoy, man. We and you hear it on the air. It's chemistry. Uh, we're great friends, uh, you know, off the microphones, and I think that really helps the relationship to build a great broadcasting team. Uh, so we're blessed, man. We're we're on TNF. Uh, we start the week with TNF uh, in Espanol, and we ended with Sunday Night Football on Telemundo. Both of us, man. So uh, just really blessed. It's been a great ride. Uh, I enjoy. I truly enjoy the process. I was telling this to one of my my friends last night. Uh, I think you know, year three now that we're we're comfortable in our chairs that we we started off with the right foot uh, just from the get go from a from a rhythm standpoint, kind of just cleaning up little little nicks and nacks that that we notice. Maybe you don't notice uh, on the air, but it's been really fun to kind of uh, push that envelope forward and, and try to to become. You know that the, those voices that you hear every every Thursday night football in Espanol. 
I'm going to tell you that he's been like an angel for me. He's he's one of my best friends. He's a great friend. We're close, uh, close friends. Uh, he helped me a lot in the beginning of, the, of this uh, process. And it's always great to have someone that actually played the game. That, mm -hmm. that gives you a whole different perspective of the game because in this specific sport, is very important to have something, uh, someone that played the game. And it's because he gives you, as I said, a, a whole different perspective. And he's a good friend. He's great at what he does. And it's a blessing to, to do uh, Thursday Night Football with him. So, you know, you guys are on air and everything. This is what I always wonder anytime I watch any football, you know, whether like whatever network, whatever talent that's, you know, broadcasting and doing everything, your outfits, your wardrobe. I mean, how, how like how like how like early do you plan your wardrobe for third? Like, do you already have it planned out for the season? You're like, this one run this day, this day. I don't know if you guys even call each other to say, wait, what are you wearing versus what I'm gonna wear today? Or just kind of like, ah, it's whatever the mood is. Like, maybe I'll have a tie, maybe I won't have a tie, maybe I wear like comfortable shoes, or you know, ah, I'm feeling a little, I'm feeling a little uh, bigger today from eating yesterday, so I'll put on my like my bigger suit or a darker outfit to look skinnier. You know what? He always tell me, Miguel. Again, blue, again, blue and white, again, bro, come on, do something different. Okay, I'll do blue and maybe pink. I love blue uh, suits. So, uh, and he's more, you know, into, I'm going to use something different, something purple. And no, nah, but we're like uh, next each other's uh, locker. So we, we, what are you going to wear today? I'm going to do this and this. Oh, and I don't wear shoes. Oh. I use like sport shoes. I don't like to use like formal shoes. And now he's into that. I told him, hey, Rolando, you need to switch, man. And he said, okay, boss, now I'm we I'm wearing just white shoes for you, boss. Okay, thank you. Miguel loves blues. And I call him the I call him the Jackie Blues. In Spanish is it's it's an it's an it's an abbreviation to Yaquita lo take it off blue. Like like cause I see it like every day in the production be like, hey partner, what are you what are you wearing today? Uh, blue, like he he just loves every tone of blue. He has every 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 single suit that you could possibly imagine. Um, I do the same. I I try and stay in you know in 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 solid colors. Obviously for TV it, it's better. But man, we have we throughout the years we've had uh, the opportunity to kind of just have a lot of wardrobe and how, how's the selection? It's pretty much game day. What you're feeling, you know. If, if it's I, I never I never like there's some broadcasters that kind of put the the, the the little the little accent handkerchief, handkerchief like hanker, yeah, hanker, hey, yeah the bears are going today let me put the orange one in or you know I sometimes if it falls it falls but I don't I don't I just I open up my locker and I have everything pressed ready to go shirts you know shoes uh suits and whatever whatever I feel then that's what goes on man but but I'm fortunate enough that that I don't have to travel anymore with my at the start of my career it was that was the hectic part of, of my broadcasting career, you know, cause I'm, I'm six, five, 350 pounds. My suits are big, man. I mean, and if I press <laughs> them at home and, I, and even though they're in, a, they're in a garment bag, you know, I'm on a plane four or five, six hours, wherever I'm traveling. And I have to get out real quick, get into my room and, and kind of hang it up and make sure it's pressed, like pressed to the button with, with the crease. And it's just TV ready, right? That's what we call it. TV ready. And sometimes I had to like do it myself. Like, you know, I'm, I'm buying a, you know, either an iron or one of these, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the ones that spray, ah, what is it? What is it called? The wrinkle, the wrinkle, yeah, the steamer, the steamer, the steamer. So I'm, I'm carrying like a portable steamer in my bag. I mean, it was just, it, it, it was hectic. Those were the, the worry days. Now everything is, is there pressed for us and man, we enjoy it. We enjoy it. But yeah, the selection is, is it's pretty much um, what we feel for that day.